Oh my god, I've been waiting way too long for this. What's up, people? And here we are. Another day, another flat tire. Now, if you've been following along, I changed this tire once myself, went on a mountain biking trip, it was flat the next morning, took it to the Ventura e-bike repair shop, they checked out the inner tube, everything was fine. This looks like it's all good. We look good here. I think we're gonna be okay. And here we are again. It is still a flat tire. You tripping, bro. You tripping. <laughs> I have no idea what is going on. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go to my local bike shop and I'm gonna have them change out the inner tube, put a brand new one in, and I'm gonna have them put some of that slime in the tire. And hopefully, hopefully, that solves the issues I've been having. I haven't been able to ride my bike for about a month and it's really starting to bum me out. This is a bummer, man. It's a bummer. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why this keeps happening. So let's hope this does the job. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh my God. I don't like this. Put that on too tight. I got my new tube here. This one is a Schrader valve. And the reason I'm choosing the Schrader valve instead of the Presta valve is because I got some of this uh, flat out. I believe this is some of the slime. Now, I don't know if the local bike, bike shop is gonna use this one. I'm gonna bring it just in case they want to. But you put this inside your inner tube and it's supposed to prevent uh, minor flats and whatnot. So I'm gonna take this, the new tube, and head over to the bike store. I also bought some of these uh, Gorilla bike tools to, to remove the tire. I saw them using this at the Ventura e-bike place. Uh, they look pretty good, and the ones that I have are really flimsy, so when I need to do this on my own, it'll be a lot easier. He's going to spin the Wheel of Fortune, the Mike Carlson Memorial Wheel of Fortune, for this Tuesday's ride. Go for it. That right there is a little piece of wire, and that's why my tire was deflating. Unbelievable. This part took me 40 minutes to do the first time I did this. Well, there's a technique to it for sure. Oh, uh, half? Yeah, I think that's probably good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pop!
I think the problem is finally fixed. Thank God I could ride my bike again. Man, that was frustrating. So yeah, that little piece that was in there was just a teeny little wire. What a bummer, man. So here at JRA Bikes and Brew, it's a great little spot. Uh, Vince, the owner, Vince and Tamara, they are my old neighbors. What they got going on over here is great. Uh, not only do, do they have a great selection of bikes and drinks that you can order there, whether it's coffee or like smoothies, which I got. They offer a lot of great services, tune-ups, tire changes, clearly. Uh, thank you so much for that, Vince. I appreciate you uh, not charging me for that. I would have happily paid, but thank you so much. It's just a really great environment in there. There's a place that you can sit and chill, drink your coffee, hang out with like-minded people who are in the biking space. Uh, if you haven't been to JRA Bikes and Brew, go check it out. It's definitely worth the stop. If you love bikes and you're in the Thousand Oaks area in Ventura County, it's a great spot. I did want to ask Vince some questions about uh, why they don't work on uh, class 3 e-bikes and whatnot, but he unfortunately has uh, bronchitis right now, so he wasn't really able to talk and answer a bunch of questions. But good to see you, Vince. Thanks again. I'm really happy to be getting on this bike again. So let's get home and let's put this tire back on my bike. I think it's finally fixed. I think I finally can go on some rides again. Yes! Oh my God, I've been waiting way too long for this. Let's give it a little test ride.